Welcome to Meg's Motorcycle Journey, where we explore the world on two wheels. This channel will follow me on my journey to become a better rider and explore my love of all things motorcycles. Guys, I think you're in for a real treat this week. Andy Lee of Moto Cades and Coffee treated us to an opportunity to ride some of his really cool and unique bikes. So, hey guys, um, Andy here has graciously allowed us to take his super cool and super unique bike on a little ride. I think you guys will be really entertained because cameraman's about to risk his life to sit mm -hmm. in the sidecar and let me drive, which is ride. Ride. Royal Enfield is the name of the motorcycle. They're actually the largest motorcycle manufacturer in the world. And they just started really coming on globally in the last three, four years. Okay. And they're the fastest growing motorcycle manufacturer in North America right now. Wow, very uh, cool. Ridership, new riders, female riders. Um, I've seen a bunch of, of ladies that have yeah. gone to the Royal Enfield. Yep, 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 yep. Um, this is called a Royal Enfield Bullet 500. Okay. Stands for the size of the engine. This is a 2007. It has uh, 500 cc's of smoke and power. It's about stock, about 22 horsepower. Uh, this is a special factory head. It's called a fireball head. It takes it up the power about like 25, 26 horsepower. Okay. Um, it's a single cylinder. They've been making this in like 1958. This is the last year of carburation. Okay. Good and bad. <laughs> and everything about this motorcycle is super old school. You got a drum brake up front, drum brake and back. It does not stop very good. See, that's good to know. You have this funky. I'm glad he told me that up front. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, need, uh, you have a you have a uh, cushy uh, sprung seat, which is really weird to get used to. Huh. Um, okay. Kickstart, electric start. I will tell you how to ride it uh, in a bit. Sorry, so I'm are like, these, yeah. these are like storage boxes? Yeah, these are called panniers. They're just okay. ammo cans. Ammo, I didn't yeah. bring my ammo, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. And this is a kickstart, right? It is kick oh, and electric goodness. start, which you are just cooler if you kickstart. I, I, I 100% agree, and I might not get another chance to kickstart uh, a motorcycle, so I'll try. Okay. Um, so, what tips do you have for me for riding? Okay, so let me give you the basic tips. It drives like a normal ATV. Okay. Like a four-wheeler. If you've ever been it. on I a four-wheeler. Yes, I have. You don't steer out of the turns. You, you steer into the turns like a car okay. or an ATV. So there's no Count, counter, counter steer. There's absolutely right. no counter steer. Got it. It's very intuitive when you, when you ride. Okay. The big thing is, when you are turning right, the whole uh, the passenger side or the whole sidecar will want to tip up sometimes. Okay. All right, so all you do is just slow down. Okay, just all right? real slow. If you go left, you can take it like a bat out of you know where because it has a whole extra wheel that's planted on the ground and you can turn as tight left as you want. I mean, I won't. Okay. I will tell you <laughs> um, for the first like three months of That's good because this really doesn't get over 55 yeah, well, like top speed. I don't think we'll be taking it that bad. Um, I'll show you. The best thing to do is just to get on and sit on it, and okay. you're not going to fall over. That's the cool part. Yeah, because there's no, I don't yeah. have to worry about that. There you oh, go. Right. So wait, this is, is this right that's here your like kickstart? That's your kickstart. Um, right. It's a standard brake and shifter, just like it's a five-speed. Brake down here, and we got the brake here, and here's the... Shifter, it's a five speed. Clutch. Okay, horn. Yep, horn. What are, what are these all? The so, the only the different, yeah, so you have a horn, you have your turn signals, keys. There's only two gauges on it. All right, this is a speedometer, speedometer and this is gas. Yeah, and you shift by sound. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, they're not gas, this is an uh, ammeter, so it's like if you're producing electricity. Okay. Uh, throttles. Throttles there, and this one is your lights. You actually have a you can turn your lights on and off. Okay. 
Um, so to start it, two ways to do it. First is just turn it on okay. and you're neutral. Uh, actually got to turn the key on. So this way? Yeah. There you go, okay. neutral. The starter's actually down here by your leg there. It's that button right this there. Button right yeah, there. you can just push it down. Okay. And it'll start. That's the first way. The other way is kickstart, which will do other, like advanced techniques. Wait, <laughs> so it's down, but it's not, so it's, a, it's not starting. Are you in oh, you, got, you actually have to hold it down. Oh, I have to hold it. You have to hold, yeah. No, no, sorry, not that, uh, the button above it. This button? Yep. I just have to push, push it. Push it, yeah, just keep pushing. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Started? It started. Give it a little rip. You want to go real small? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Hold on, I'm not wearing a helmet. You're just going there. <laughs> Very cool. If you want, which I suggest, let me get my drone out. Sure. Yeah. Um, you can, um, I'll move move this out of the way. Actually, I'll put it like I'm gonna hide it back there. Okay. And we'll just get some really good footage of you. Can be doing this. Okay. That's awesome. Very cool. <laughs> oh my God, that steering it is so different. That's very. It cool. like wants to pull really hard to one side. Yeah, it's because you got all that weight, right? I mean. I don't know. I guess we'll see. He said it's easier with a passenger, so I guess we'll see what it's like when you're in it. Okay. You want to? After I do it, you should do it once. I want to see. You guys want to just drive around for a bit? I'll get the drone ready. Okay. Um, That'd be awesome. Yeah. And then, okay. Uh, wait. I get this uh, GoPro. Want to get your helmet on? I got my insurance card in my pocket just in case. Hey, I do have a rental the 30th, so I just keep, you know, <laughs> just saying. What's the furthest you've taken it? I took it from Millicent City here. <laughs> I don't even know if I want this vest. I'm so hot. It's so warm. Man. It's insane that Maryland weather literally Take went from- It's freezing this morning. Well, even like last week, me and Mike were in snow. Snow. And it's, like, it's probably 82, 83. Yeah. Warm, Should I sit in this thing? Yes. Hold on, let me hold it. Let me sit in it. Do you want me to put this on for you? Yeah, in the front, I think. It's just like, it should probably face me because I'm sure my face is hilarious. Because <laughs> I was trying. It was so weird. It pulls so hard to one side. I'm gonna try to kickstart it this time. 
<laughs> Lauren's gonna be so mad she missed out. How does it feel to be on the bullet? It feels speedy. <laughs> does it? <laughs> how's, that, how's that seat feel? It's not bad actually. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't think that that's uh, like I, I feel the springs, but I don't think it's like uncomfortable. Yeah, those springs are kind of weird, but you know. I mean, it's yeah, it bad. it takes a bit getting used to, and they turn. The turns. So I, what I was surprised about was when I was over there, it actually pulled me left a little bit. Okay. Um, and I don't know if that's because I was like on guard to go right, but I actually, I went a little bit left. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, it's Should definitely different than anything. Go for it, man. All right, we'll sure. get you guys. Yeah, yeah, we'll right, get you guys. Right, so the kickstart, what do I do? Oh, let here? me show you. I'll, I'm gonna show you the get kickstart, all right? So here's the kickstart procedure. You gotta make sure it's in neutral, which okay. it is. It's real simple. <laughs> Key in, turn it on. First thing you want to do is be very positive when you go down. Okay? Go for it. Okay, hold on, wait, should we move this tripod? No, it's fine, yeah, go. You're in neutral, huh? You're in neutral. Yeah. Alright, so the key's on, the keys it's in neutral. On. It's in neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Push this red button. Push your red button down and just be real step, firm with it. Yeah. Step through. Down. Step all your weight on it. All your weight. Like stand up on it. Oh. Again. <laughs> like, <laughs> try oh. to hurt, hurt it on it. Oh, so you, oh, you can't have the clutches. Sorry. Oh, okay. There's that's problem. Yeah. All right. All right. I can get it though. I can well, feel it. All right. It might be. It might be at the point where we have to, to push that lever. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and give it a little throttle with it, right? Yeah. Just a tiny bit, and then don't. Then as soon as you do that, as soon as it goes, no, no. A as bit. soon as you release it, bring it up. I guess I, so the button's correct now. Yeah, our button's on. There it is. Put it right back on. Now give it. Now give it hell. All right. All right. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta. Uh... Oh, so close. Yes. Got it. Got it. <laughs> All right. Go for a ride. I'll get the. I'll get everything ready. Guys, so that's me getting the kickstart again. I was pretty proud of myself. What I cut out is me trying about 10 more times and not being able to do it. So those of you that have a bike that kickstarts, you have all of my respect. So here was cameraman climbing in for the very first time to go for a ride. As you might have seen in my caption, it was surprisingly easier to steer turn and control the bike with some weight in the sidecar. When I was riding it without anyone in the sidecar, it was much more difficult. I didn't know what to expect when I started going, but it actually ran pretty similar to a traditional motorcycle. You see me laughing and smiling because it was just really cool and something that you don't get the opportunity to do very frequently. So I just want to give a huge thank you and shout out to Andy of Moto Cades and Coffee and encourage you to check out his channel because he has two Royal Enfields, this one obviously with the sidecar and another one that cameraman actually rode that day. Both are really cool bikes. He's got a great channel. He's got a really good recording setup. He's more knowledgeable than I am about those things. So absolutely check out his channel and just a huge thank you to him. Um, as you can see, I'm having an absolute blast. Cameraman over there being dramatic. I did not even get close to crashing. We both did fine. But we had a fantastic time. Both of us thought it was super cool. Um, we basically rode it around. There was a little park right here, um, and there was some little side roads in a neighborhood that we rode into, so we sort of stayed in that general area. I took the bike in fourth gear once. I never got into fifth gear, so I stayed at pretty slow speeds, mostly first, second, and third gear, while I felt uh, what it was like in the turns and how to steer with a passenger in the sidecar. 
My best friend Lauren that you guys met in a different video has always wanted to ride in a sidecar. So I feel like she's probably going to be pretty jealous that we had the opportunity to take a bike with a sidecar. She was busy on this particular day or I would have invited her. So something that we had a little footage of, um, but it was difficult to see, was that Andy at one point, who said he didn't know if he'd ever ridden in the sidecar of his own motorcycle, rode in and let me ride him around. So if you go check out the video on his page, you'll get to check out some of that footage, which is also fun. It was definitely a different experience than riding a newer motorcycle. I think the oldest bikes that I've ridden previously <clears throat> was possibly when I went down to train with Jerry and Donna. His Sportster, I think, was a 2005 um, and certainly built a bit different than this bike. But as Andy mentioned, Royal Enfield is really growing and catching on, especially with the female rider base. This I don't think is the typical bike that they get, but it was still very cool to ride. I thought and have heard that riding in a sidecar is a bumpy ride, but it actually wasn't. You'll see in a moment that cameraman takes a turn at riding and I take a little ride in the sidecar. Uh, I have just as much fun riding in the sidecar as I did riding the bike but it wasn't bumpy. It was surprisingly smooth. I talked to Andy a little bit about that, and he said that it was because this sidecar has shocks built in so that some are less stable than this sidecar. But it was really cool to both ride the bike and to ride in the sidecar. It was an interesting perspective because I'm used to being high up on the bike, so when I was sitting low on the sidecar... It was definitely a different perspective. I think it might be a little unnerving on a highway if I was that low. But like I said, we stayed sort of within the neighborhood type of area. So it was all real slow, slower speed riding. Although you'll see that cameraman is much braver than I am and he really gets at it. So it was a little bit more of a wild ride I think for me in the sidecar than it was for him in the sidecar so I don't know if you guys know probably those of you local to Maryland might but Andy rents out this bike you can rent it on rider share and I will put a link in the description of this video to his rider share page where you can go ahead and rent this bike if you're in the area I think that would be super cool and super fun if you travel here with any frequency and have the opportunity to just spend a day doing something fun and you have your motorcycle license, I would encourage you to consider renting it. Andy lives really close to this area, so you could take it and ride it around in a relatively safe place where you had a lot of space and not a lot of traffic. So I think that that would be worth doing. As you can tell, I'm smiling from ear to ear, having a blast because I love any ride on a motorcycle, but particularly one on a ride that is so unique. All right, cameraman's gonna give it a whirl.
perfect B right like this. Or it's else, okay. Or, yeah, I don't think Emma's gonna complain if it falls out. Yeah. Cool. Okay, ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I can do better. I'm gonna pull these up because I'm about to all pop out. Ah. Oh. Close. It's hard because you have no room in there, right? That's good. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed our ride on a Royal Enfield Bullet 500 with the sidecar. And one more time, I just want to shout out that I am doing an event for International Female Ride Day this Saturday at Old Glory in Laurel, Maryland. It's a Harley Davidson dealer. I will be there around 1 and we will start the ride around 2.30. I hope that I get to meet a lot of you there because that would be a blast. And I plan on taking some additional footage. So hopefully, even if you don't get to come, you guys will get to experience it. I'm also super excited to be leaving for Myrtle Beach in less than two weeks. And I hope I get to meet a lot of you guys there. I want to shout out one more time and give a huge thanks to Andy of Motocades and Coffee for allowing us to come and have such a great and fun day riding his bikes. Until next time, guys, ride safe and don't forget to like and subscribe.